What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Pantheon leaks, uh, rewards, and kind of what the mode will be in general. Now, we have got a little bit of news from Bungie about this, but we don't have a complete kind of deep dive into the mode just yet, uh, kind of including everything. But we did get a good bit of information from Bungie and also a good bit of information from some leakers out there that have been leaking a lot of stuff about the Into the Light update. Pantheon will be a brand new activity in Destiny 2 introduced with the Into the Light update that challenges players to beat raid bosses back to back. Players will take on a set of raid bosses with new bosses added each week along with the new modifiers and an increase to the difficulty. It says completing this will be tough for most players but it's well worth the effort giving raid exotics, emblems, patterns and more are up for grabs. It says on the first week April the 30th, Pantheon will consist of four bosses with one boss added to the lineup each week, except for the final week where two will be introduced. Each week will also see a decrease in players' effective power. It says the power level will be the biggest challenge for most players, especially in the final week where it reaches contest modes. Um, your effective power will be five points lower than the enemy. The power deficit increases by 5 points for each version of Pantheon until the last week where players are 20 points below the enemy. This is equivalent of a Day 1 Raids contest mode. What this means is that on week 4, all versions of Pantheon will be available uh, offering a 20 point handicap. Will uh, of course, and then the week one one will still be a five point deficit. On top of this, there are modifiers that will rotate at the moment. The modifiers are not known, uh, but there likely also will be surges and threats and things like we would see in nightfalls and also in the new um, onslaught mode we have. But Bungie has not really said anything about the modifiers, and there's not been any of the modifiers leaked just yet. On April the 11th, on, in the new tweet, Bungie indicated that players should be prepared to change their strategies for these boss fights. It appears as the tough mechanics may be slightly different as such. We'll have, they said, Pantheon-specific boss fight guides and kind of talking about stuff uh, as you no know, time goes forward uh, with this new part of the update. Also, efforts for completing Pantheon will be rewarded. Not only can you earn weapon patterns and raid exotics, but also some unique emblems. In order to uh, acquire raid exotics, players will need to complete a quest called Divine Weaponry. Uh, this quest is available from 9940 in the Hall of Champions, so the robotic character over there in the Hall of Champions. After the gauntlet of bosses is complete, players can speak with this uh, the character once again before leaving Pantheon in order to claim their reward. It appears as of right now the exotics that will be available is 1000 voices, eyes of tomorrow, collective obligation, touch of malice, and the conditional finality. Uh, there also will be unique emblems players can you know earn from completing specific triumphs so those will be available as well and there also will be a good bit of the legendary weapons from these raid bosses as well as far as i have seen so far it looks like it's going to be the raid specific weapons for that boss fight as if you were in the raid itself so the raid weapons that we will uh, be seeing legendary wise will be the ones that you would get like i said from that boss fight but not only are you getting emblems uh legendary weapons you're also going to have the option to get those exotic weapons as well so this looks like it's going to be a very big challenge but also something I think a lot of players are going to be really curious about and really uh, looking to hop into. I think this is a good take on uh, something we can do with raid content that we already have. Not a lot of players may be able to play all the raid content, may not have a group to play with, but you can still fight some of these bosses in this new Pantheon mode. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.